is upstairs watching. Hi, family. Oh, yes. Do some <laughs> shout outs. <laughs> we have we have two girls and a boy, um, and they sometimes come in to work with me. So um, it's, that's been a really not, a really fun thing for me to be working at home. I'm only five minutes from the family search office, so it's not like I'm far, but mm. but I do enjoy being at home. It's been fun, and you know, Brian, he called me um, on Microsoft Teams one of these meetings about four months ago. I don't know when was it September maybe. Yeah. Hey, could you help me do a few mock-ups for the film search? <laughs> yeah, we'll just spend like a week. I just need a week to get mine installed. And uh, that one or two days um, has turned into full-time, 100% of my time working on Roots Tech. And it has been amazing. It's been awesome. So. And that's how, many, how many different mock-ups would you say have been created? Oh, man. Hundreds? Um, it changes literally every day. Um, okay. So, so I was changing things up until right before we called. So it's constantly changing, and um, it's been pretty insane trying to trying to get this ready. Okay. Well, and I know why people are here. They are here because they want to know what is going on with Roots Tech, and we are going to show them some of the prototypes, which might change, right? But we yes, want to yes. show them what you've been working on and what they can expect, and we will answer. We will answer questions, and um, so I think let's kick it off and let's start showing them what it's going to look like. And Jen, can you tell us a little bit about why, or maybe how Roots Tech is different this year than any other year while Curtis pulls up his screen? Yeah, well, I don't know if you've heard, but Roots Tech is all virtual this year. So you get this experience. Right now, I would be stressing out with Brandon Beckstead. For those of you who know him, right? We're trying to make sure all the chairs are set up in the right place, that the fire marshal is set, that the taco stands are ready to go. We know where everyone's going to line up. Uh, I don't have to worry about that stress this year. So I handed it off to these no two chairs. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> they have to worry about can the website handle all the people, right? So we have to create a convention center, but virtual, a place to host everybody. And I just can't even tell you before we even get started, Brian and Curtis are two of the best. And any of you that are listening out there, don't even think about taking them because they are incredible at what they've done in just a short amount of time. We're almost like letting everyone know the secret, Brian. Like, we are. It, this has been nothing short of a miracle. So anyway, handing off all the stress to them. <laughs> we really well, appreciate Jen doing that, by the way. It's been really, really nice of her. <laughs> it is so exciting. And um, Jen, tell us about the global aspect of this um, experience, because that's one of the big differences, right? Huge. Yes. We have so many people coming. So already, you know, just to share, we have over 202 countries or territories that are represented that have already registered and registrations are just climbing every single day. And we, you know, that's just, that's huge. These people can't travel to Salt Lake city to come to a convention. And so we are so excited how the growth of this is taking place. And I'm sure Brian and Curtis will talk about this as one of the big challenges, but one of the great opportunities is the languages and people just coming from all over the world. And we literally are transforming this event into a place where anybody can come and learn and experience and be inspired. So, oh, it's crazy. And it's free. It's free. It's free. Okay. Curtis, walk us through. Curtis and Brian, walk us through what we are looking at. And if you have specific questions, about Roots Tech. And first, let's make sure this is a disclaimer. This is a prototype. This is what um, the end experience may be slightly different, but you know, this is, what are we, 28 days away? Um, so this is probably closer. And I think people want to know what can they expect? So what are we looking at, Curtis? So, yeah. <clears throat> so right now we're looking at um, what we're calling the main stage. For those who have been to Roots Tech before, they know there's there's a lot going on. There's a lot of different sessions and stuff, but there is a main stage there, and that's where all the keynote addresses are given, and that's where all of the you know the guest celebrities come and talk, and that's exactly what we're going to have here. We do have some amazing keynote speakers that are going to be mm -hmm. presenting at this year's Roots Tech, and it'll all happen on the main stage, which will be going constantly throughout the constantly. whole 
24 hours straight what? Yeah. main stage content with 12 different keynote speakers. They all speak different languages, but it's okay. It'll all be available in 11 languages. So even if they're speaking Spanish, you can come and enjoy it. So is there like one that you're really excited about or that's surprising that you can tell us about, Jen? Oh, there's so many great keynotes. Like I said, there's 12 of them. Now there's one specific that we met with. His name's Diego and he is a, well, I, a soccer player. If you're American, he plays football and, um, he, he's from, I said Uruguay, right. Did I say that already? And he has played all over the world. He played for Brazil, all over in Latin America, played in Europe for a while extremely good still playing by the way and he loves family history loves it and he was so excited to come and give any he, and he gave an incredible message i actually understood like two words but um he was just so energetic and so excited to come and talk about family history so yes great. Okay, how fun. Um, and so still pay attention to Roots Tech Social and the website because not all of the keynotes have been addressed or uh, announced. And make sure you're registered. Rootstech.org, register and participate with us. Okay, Brian, can you tell us a little bit about what we're seeing at the top and what do you think people should do when they first come to the website? Yeah, so if you look across the top here, you, the home is just when you when you tap on home, that's when you're going to get the live stream of the main stage, and there'll mm -hmm. also be some announcements. You can connect into a calendar to show what's being showed during um, during that live stage, uh, and so that's pretty much your your home. But as we kind of move across here, the tabs across the top, we have the section called Guide Me. Now I, I don't know if anybody's ever played with some learning management systems. Uh, one popular one out there that's really popular today is one called Masterclass, where mm -hmm. you can kind of really curate your whole course. And so if you're coming to this Roots Tech and you're like, you know, I'm new to family history. I have no idea where to even start, what, you, what to view. Uh, what, what we've done with this section is we have curated pretty much courses uh, to help you just guide you through your experience. So that's what you will find here uh, in uh, the guide me section. Okay, okay. And I love that you use the word curated. So if you have an intent or something specific, you're interested, you're getting started, then okay. this is a great place to come. Um, what if you just wanna look at all the, what's available, the classes that are available? Where, would, so, where do we do that? So, the, well, that's great. The next one, next tab over, you see sessions. So if you, type, mm -hmm. if you just you know, tap on sessions over there, you can search by title, topic, speaker, company. Uh, when you tap on this, you'll see uh, we've got categories. We have a, a course, a category, category called the keynote. So you can jump in and see the keynotes. After the keynotes are, are viewed and done on the main stage, they will be uh, available as on-demand sessions. So that's where you'll see it here. But we have different categories. You can tap on any of the categories and uh, jump into to the different sessions. And you can also have a search here uh, to search for things. You also see on this, this page there, there's a filter by country and language. Oh, so sure. as Jen was saying, you know, we, we've got a lot of people from all over the world here. And we've got content that's being submitted from all over the world here too. So you can also filter by language and country. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Tell us, Jen, a little bit about the sessions and how they're different this year as far as, <laughs> let's go with the number, the obvious I, one. I don't want to scare anybody, but um, we have over 800 class sessions that will be available in different languages. And, and we really are changing kind of the format too. A lot of these classes are going to be about 20 minutes long. Um, so not so long, a little bit shorter from all over the world and being taught in different languages, uh, you know, from originating languages, not really translated or anything, but, um, what's so great about that is there's learning coming in from all over the world and there's a lot of them and hopefully a lot shorter so that you can kind of dive into those things a lot easier. We also have this section called tips and tricks. Mm. where you can listen and watch um, classes that are like three minutes long. Uh, just these quick little snippets that will help you on your journey of, of what, wherever you are uh, in the family history realm. So, okay. So, so Curtis, as you're sharing this, and I know that you mentioned your role, have you 
done, um, have you met with like, have you shared this with customers and gotten their feedback on how to make this better? So we, um, we're actually putting together a test right now. We have, we have talked to a bunch of people. Um, <laughs> we, we finally got it to a place where we feel like we can test it with some people that are kind of on the outside um, that might be people who would, who would maybe attend. So we're going to be getting that feedback here later this week, actually. So okay. we're putting That's together great. that test right now. And, and it's just, it's remarkable to see what, what's been created. Okay. Tell us about Curtis, show us the next piece. Cause I think this is really important. And um, yeah, I think this will be cool. So, so it's my playlist um, with any of those sessions. Let me go back to a session and, and show like from a search result, for example. Yes. Um, if I see a session here that I like, I could just click on that plus and it would just <laughs> add it to my playlist. So then it's just kind of like my watch list on, on Netflix or something where you can just kind of collect all of the series, all of the sessions that you want to watch throughout the, throughout the few days. And it's not just, they'll be there even past the conference, right? So like you can just start to collect everything that you want to watch um, and it'll just be collected there so that you can just go um, watch what you want to watch. Okay, so we've got a couple of people asking, um, will each day be different or will it be the same each day? On the main stage, I think is the question they're referring to. No, Jen? That's, a, that's a good question. So main stage, there'll be 24 hours of live streaming uh, content. The next 24 hours will pretty much be the same pieces, but in a different order because we don't expect you all to sit in front of your computer for 72 hours. I hope you don't, but if you do, great. You're listed as my, one of my diehards. Um, and so it will be similar, but different in a different area. And then the third day will be different. So uh, there'll be a lot going on on the main stage. All of these classes that Curtis is showing, um, those will be on demand. Uh, there will be some classes that will be live as well, but for the most part, you can go in right from the first day and start adding them to your playlist um, or just start watching them too. And Again, there's so much, we know you can't do it all in three days. So that's why building your playlist and then coming back uh, the weeks or days or even months later, you can okay. to watch. That, that's another question. Um, Kylie is asking how long will the content be up <laughs> and available? Yep. So we don't really have any plans to take it down. Honestly, it'll be at least for a year. That's kind of our promise that you can come in here and learn. Uh, at that point for the next event, we might start refreshing and changing and, and uh, switching it out a little bit, but. Okay, um, Brian, we have a question for you. Um, Kylie is asking, are your daughters packing the goodie bags? Um, she didn't really ask that, but they wanna know if there's goodie bags. And I'm like, I don't know. I think you have to get your own goodie bag, right? <laughs> <laughs> like there's I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, anything's possible. I think like yes. our kids might be asked to stuff goodie bags. <laughs> Kylie, let us know where you are, and we'll see if we can we can help out with that. Um, okay, so Curtis, can you tell us a little bit? And I know there's more to go through, but we're having questions about closed captioning um, and and translations. Um, Kathy is asking how the language streams work. And who wants to answer that one? Um, I can, I can oh yeah, Brian that. could answer that one better. Okay, good. Okay, Brian. So, um, most of our content that we got in here, we're, we're really running this underneath the covers. Uh, we're running these videos out of YouTube, a lot of them. And so uh, this platform really, if I get technical, it's there, we've got embedded YouTube player on this platform. <clears throat> and so we will have available uh, subtitles in the YouTube platform. So if you've ever watched YouTube videos on that player and done subtitles with it, you're going to be very familiar with, with how to go about that because we're, we're using, uh, we're, we're using the common YouTube player. So there's a way to go in there and select a little setting on the player and you're, you're able to go in there. And if we have the trans, the subtitles translations with the videos, you'll be able to select the language. But if, you, if we don't even have the, sub, the language subtitles there, YouTube has this feature where you can actually auto-translate. Mm -hmm. So um, you can actually hit auto-translate and in, YouTube has tons of languages that it will auto-translate into. 
So we, we feel this is going to give us a really broad reach to a lot of people. It's so cool, it's so cool. Say 11 languages, like are all the sessions available in that many languages? So the yeah. sessions are a little different. They, okay. They've come in in their originating language, whatever language it was taught in. And then you can use the YouTube feature that Brian's talking about to get it in your language if you'd like. Um, but the main stage, the live stream part will be available in 11 languages. It'll either be dubbed or subtitled depending on the language. So, and there are, she did mention closed captioning. There are some classes with true closed captioning um, and it, for ASL. So there is a handful of those, yes. Awesome, okay, Curtis. Now, um, I know when I was talking to Jen earlier about this, one of the most exciting things about Roots Tech is the expo hall because you walk in and there's just this energy and um, there's, you know, all of our friends, our partners and, and the presenters. So what is that experience going to be like here? Yeah. yeah, for those that have been to Roots Tech, they know that there's, it's just this huge area where you can just go from booth to booth. Um, so it is cool. We are going to have a virtual expo hall and there will still be vendors there that have their own little virtual booth. So, so like find my past might have wow. their own little virtual booth where they have some booth demos. Um, they might have, who knows, I don't, they may have some special offers or they might have some new products to show off or something, but it will be um, up to each company to, to decide what they want to have in their virtual booth. But it will be a cool opportunity for people to just be able to go kind of wander the virtual expo hall and see what the different companies have to offer. And I love um, something that you have all talked about, especially when I've heard the Roots Tech team talk about, since it's Roots Tech Connect, how are we facilitating connections? And I don't know if that's something that you can share with the, the prototype, but um, I'd love to know, there's two things. People wanna know connections and then how can they get help? Because, and that's another thing Roots Tech is famous for is all of the volunteers. So who wants to, which, which one should we answer first? I, I wonder if we should talk about this first one, which is, <gasps> that, that came to my mind as relatives at Roots Tech. This to me is one of the coolest things um, that was, so, for those who have been to Roots Tech before, mm -hmm. that we had this relatives at Roots Tech feature. So on the Roots Tech app, you could go in and see who you were related to. Now, Brian and I, we, we work at Roots Tech every year. We have our own booth that we're part of the discovery booth. Um, and one of the funnest things for me was to meet people there and then just say, hey, let's see if we're related. Yes. Um, most often they were, um, even distantly, but it was really, really cool to see, hey, we're ninth cousins, you know? And um, so this, and that was with 30,000 people. And now to be able to connect with 200,000 people and to see how you're related. And we're gonna have a map, like an interactive map that you can look and see where all of your connections are. So this is gonna be one of the coolest things, I think, um, that is, been created just for this conference, right? With, oh, and with this is this is big technology stuff that's happening here too, right? Brian, mm -hmm. how many, like help us understand from an engineering or a building perspective, what kind of effort goes into creating an experience like this? This is, this is a really big effort just because of the size, right? I mean, mm -hmm. we're looking at how many are coming and participating in this. This is a humongous effort. Uh, for us to pull off. Um, so anyway, um, it's been yeah. quite a journey. I, I just wanted to, to just also just jump on to what Curse was saying. I actually, on the screen here, I actually pulled up a beta site of some actual working code. Now this is always dangerous to do like on a live session. Okay. But um, down here, you'll see when you jump into the, in, in the, on the platform, there'll always be this little button at the bottom that says connect. And this connect will allow you to direct message anybody in the in the conference, any participant that's, that's participating, any speakers. Wow, uh, speakers. Direct message them. You can jump into chat rooms. Uh, so there'll be a lot of opportunities to connect in multiple ways. But I wanted to show you also in the chat tool here, as Chris was talking about, 
was mm -hmm. just see how you're related. If I scroll down here and my client here, it's, it says here, show my relatives. So if I'm opted into the relatives at Rootstack um, and I tap on this button here, it's going to pull my top 10 closest relatives um, that are related to me. And then it says here, I could show more and then pull in 10 more and then 10 more. Uh, and then um, I can also view the, view the map of my relatives that Curtis was talking about. So if I tap on that, it's going to actually take me out to an experience that we've got for the relatives at Rootstack where I can see my relatives mapped on a map that are participating in the conference. So remarkable. Um, anyway, <laughs> pretty cool here. So I come in here and see, oh, Gertrude Marine, you know, here she is right here. Uh, what's my relationship with her? And pull up um, my relationship with, with her. Um, and then I can also um, send a message to her through the family search messaging, user, mm -hmm. user messaging. I can search for a friend. So I could come here and let's say I want to search for a friend. Let's say I want to search for Curtis. Uh, there's Curtis right there mm. that we're talking to. And I can just now see how I'm related to Curtis. Hit view my relationship. Hey, look, word night cousin wants to move, Curtis. That's really great. <laughs> hey, and Wendy, do you oh. want to know another fun fact about Brian and I? Yes, we want not to know only, all the fun facts. Not only are we ninth cousins once removed, but we also share a birthday. We do. Uh, our dads worked together at Hill Air Force Base. His his dad was my dad's manager for a short time. And then yeah, going back even further, and we learned this actually at Roots Tech a couple of years ago, our fourth great grandfathers were both in the Martin Handcart Company together, and they both passed away uh, short after crossing the Sweetwater and oh are most likely buried in the same common grave. So we have we have a lot in common. Um, uh, it's which was really cool. That was a fun discovery at Roots Tech that we made. Mm -hmm. um, how, how soon will the um, relatives at Roots Tech be available? We've got people asking. Um, Deborah wants to know when it goes live because she's excited to jump in here and start connecting. <laughs> well, so, so what I've been told here right now is it looks like February 23rd when it actually, the main stage actually opens mm -hmm. and goes live, that's when they'll, they'll turn it on. Okay, so, so just... Be ready, be ready for all this excitement. And there was something else. And, and so just, just to, to indicate what we're looking at, this is the beta version of the site. What Curtis was showing was the prototype. So this is actually like um, what's working, which is actually really cool. Keith, what else can you show us? Well, yeah, so, so, that, so yeah, so just, so it's not all uh, fake stuff. This stuff's really actually, this has got to work by the time we get to February 23rd, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so anyway, uh, here's Curtis right here. Look, I can even chat with Curtis right here and type him a message. Hey, Curtis. And this is really just a private chat between me and Curtis. Uh, well, you it's know. not private anymore. Everyone's seeing it. Oh, yeah, we can, <laughs> we can see your really verbose conversations. Yes, I am here. Yes. <laughs> um, um, Colette is asking about Q&As with presenters. Um, yeah, and, and that's a great question. Though there will be um, some opportunity for some Q and A with uh, a few of the presenters, and but there's always an open, I guess it's open, a chat, an experience. And I don't know if you guys are able to show it as I'm talking about it, but there is a place for you to comment on classes. Uh, the speaker will sometimes be in there um, helping answer questions. We will also have a, a handful of moderators um, who will be helping and answering those questions too. So there's always this chat. So whether it's fed by the community, you could be end up chatting with community members who are also listening to that same class or um, the presenter will be on there too. So yes, there'll be some scheduled though. Curtis, you could probably show that how it looks in the prototype better on that. I mean, we had some live code, but yeah, each session will, will, will highlight the presenters and, and mm -hmm. the chatting with the presenters. And you'll have a chat room. Every, every uh, session will have a chat room yeah. associated with it. But. Show us all the things. And we're also getting questions about um, 
like schedules or where the broadcasts are at. So there's the main stage, there's the video on demand you mentioned. Um, so there's going to, and then there's the expo hall. There's going to be multiple, like, um, yeah. <laughs> Just tell more, Curtis, answer that on the calendar. The calendar. I was just going to say, Curtis, if, if Curtis or Brian, if you guys will pull that up, because I think the calendar is actually really going to, it's going to be very helpful for everybody, mm -hmm. especially around the world and in different time zones. So to answer that question, they'll be able to come to Roots Tech, see that you kind of automatically jump into the main stage. So you mm -hmm. can watch that right from where you are, but you'll also be able to see what's coming up next. And really the only thing that has a schedule is the main stage. Um, everything else mostly is, um, is on demand, but you'll see here at the top, actually, you can click on these buttons. You know, if you want to see Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, if you want to see the main stage, the live Q and A's, and then there's a few other things. Um, so this calendar is awesome. I, I think this feature is going to be so helpful. And right from here, you can jump to it if it's going live or even see what's going on in the chat room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And add to playlist, like you yes, mentioned. Yep. Um, and okay, this is super awesome. Um, and it, you know, I wish some of this was live now. I'm like, I want to watch some of this stuff. <laughs> we are also getting questions about um, handouts and things like that. Um, and I don't know. We need to we need to answer the ask me anything experience, and then people want to know about handouts. But but Curtis, you can continue showing this. Oh, yeah. There you go. So let's talk about ask us anything. So um, that's another thing we wanted to keep from from the actual Roots Tech in-person conferences, there was all these people that had these Ask Us Anything shirts. No, hold on. They didn't want to keep the shirts. Though. No, we don't want to keep the shirts. <laughs> the staff is very happy. I'm not making them wear that shirt this year. Thanks for coming. Well, we, well, you talk about, Jen, we love wearing that shirt. We would go into Walmart with that shirt. Yes. I saw someone right <laughs> Ask us questions. <laughs> they do. Yes, I've seen people in my neighborhood, like, riding a bike with that shirt. And I'm like, wait, where'd you get that? Uh, you know, you can ask them anything, <laughs> yes. but we do have that in here. And so they, they can click on this. Anytime they open up the chat window, there's this ask us anything always at the top. Um, and when they click on that, then we have these, these different categories um, that they can choose from. And let's say they click on places and then they can they'll be served up with a few people that have, that are experts in that area mm -hmm. that they can start a chat with. And, and so let's say they wanted to talk to Randy and they, they start a conversation with him and, and he can answer their question. I, I think we should give everyone watching Randy's work email. And then if anyone has questions during the conference, they could just <laughs> reach out to him directly. I think for um, sure they should ask him lots of questions during yes. the conference. Look for Randy Hoffman anytime you can yeah. and just, you know, ask him questions. We can say that because he's on the discovery team. Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. And then um, talk to us a little bit about um, the Have other handouts. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of people, so I, I know exactly who you are asking this question because a lot of people at Roots Tech love, you know, the syllabi and all the different things that you can collect and get. Um, so all of that will be available in a virtual space. Um, so for those presenters who did provide a syllabi, that will be available. So what you're seeing here is this downloadable resources section, right? Okay. Um, and so you can download or view those things when they are available. Um, most ex expo booths um, will have those as well. So just like you used to go into a booth and collect those things. I can't deliver the mini Snickers bar that they would give out in their booth. I'm sorry about that, but uh, you can come and collect uh, all the handouts as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. And, and if they have like just whatever the presenter provides would yeah. be available in the downloadable resources. And yep. then connecting with the presenters, there might be live Q and A's, but you can also find them um, and okay, just like yeah. that. Yeah, so whenever you're in a session, there will be, they will show up in that chat window too. So you can start a, you can just look at that conversation. That will be a group conversation or well, no, I guess a direct conversation with that, that presenter. So yeah, you could ask questions for that person, which is really cool. 
And it really all depends on the presenters and um, if they'll be there. So again, we're not guaranteed that all the presenters will be answering questions for 72 hours straight, uh, but there will be someone on those uh, conversations who can help you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're still going to get the, the ask me anything. They're still going to get the downloadable resources, hundreds and hundreds of classes, a lot of localized content in lots of different languages. Um, there's also an opportunity for um, streaming all of the, um, did you guys see my screen go weird? Mm -mm. Okay, good. <laughs> just did something. Um, and then all keynotes, everything. So really, how can people prepare for Roots Tech? What would you recommend that they do? The one thing we can't give them is the taco stand. So, you know, make sure you got your favorite snacks and soda ready to go and your bunny slippers because you'll want a comfy um, outfit as well. Um, no, it, I mean, in all reality, I think there's a few things we can say they can prepare for, but number one is probably to make sure that they have a family search account and remember the login. Uh, yes. there, there will be certain things you won't be able to do unless you log in. Um, and relatives at roots check relatives and same with, um, even chatting, uh, you've got to be logged in for that to create a playlist. You got to be logged in. So that is like number one, I would say in this virtual world, number two, maybe, um, have a great computer with, um, some, a charger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, and we're getting lots of questions. So before I go to some of these questions, Curtis, is there anything else in the prototype that you want to share. Oh, we've got, um, Deborah is saying she noticed when you pulled up the list of presenters that there was a way to show your relationship to presenter. Um, how does that work? And I guess the presenter would have to opt into that, yeah, right? I think it's if the presenter opts in, is that right, Brian, that, that you'll be able to, they'll be just like everybody else kind of looking at the opportunity uh, to see if your cousins. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So you'll you'll do that in the relatives at Roots Tech experience. There. But yeah, as far as other things on this page, uh, Brian and Curtis, I mean, I know we have a speakers page. We haven't really shown that yet. If you want to jump just to the speakers, maybe you love certain presenters. You know, obviously these ones are all past people that we've been working on the prototype with, but you can go in and see people who are speaking and jump to their class. Um, yeah, what sessions they're going to speak in, things like that. Yeah, but we pretty much showed the big things, right, Brian? Anything wait, else? Wait, hold on. Steve Rockwood has an Instagram account. <laughs> well, it shows that he does, but. This is a prototype, remember? <laughs> <laughs> That's <These> our world. <laughs> we're gonna, we can create one and we'll have Randy Hoffman run it. That's right. And, um, <laughs> okay, so. Look, we used to show the menu before you close out of this, oh, um, yeah. Curtis. Yep. So a Roots Tech store. Yes. Oh, we haven't buy. talked about that. That's right. Yeah, Jen, tell us what's going to be at the store. There is a Roots Tech store. In fact, it's live right now. Um, but I don't I don't know the link. But anyway, you can go and purchase. There's actually all sorts of stuff, way more than we usually would have in our in our physical store. Um, but there's jackets and t-shirts and bags and mugs. And if you don't have those bunny slippers, I think there's even slippers that you can buy or a blanket. Um, so there's actually a very wide variety of things that you can go in and purchase and it'll be shipped right to you. Is this where Brian's daughters are stuffing goodie bags to sell for? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Is there anything else here that we need? So there's FAQs, there's things like that. Okay, so we've got a, some really, really good questions coming in and um, I can't wait to ask you guys. So I think, I think Curtis, you can stop sharing. And um, I don't know why it's just been fun to like bring up Randy during this. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to bring up Randy. I'm sure he's not watching, but um, okay. So people are asking, if this is their first time, is there someone to kind of mentor or help them kind of prepare and or get the most out of their experience? Well, <laughs> is there we Randy's email? Yeah. <laughs> Randy Hoffman's your guy. <laughs> 
So there's definitely people to help you through the experience once we start. Not so much, you know, before we get there, but but be sure you're following all of the RootStack um, social platforms as well as if you've registered, we are sending out emails that will help you get prepared and to think about all those things. Now, once you once we start, uh, you know, they were showing you the chat feature and really you can go in and start chatting with them and asking any, even if it's, Hey, I'm new, I don't know what to do. Right. And that person will be available throughout the whole conference. You know, maybe you really like that person's answers and you want to just go back to that same person every time we're actually trying to cultivate those kind of connections. So yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Everyone is asking about the t-shirts that Brian and Curtis are wearing. Actually, nobody is, but I really feel like there's a story there and we need to know. <laughs> so one of our favorite parts of RootsTech was for, for the discovery team, it was, that was a place where we would launch our new products. Um, mm -hmm. and so this time of year is always stressful for us because we're always ramping up to have our next product ready. Um, and last year, this, that's what this shirt represents is the, is the where am I from mm. experience that was launched at last year's Roots Tech. And Brian's was from a few years ago, but um, these are special to us because we wear them at the conference because, and we're just excited because our product is now live. Um, so that's wow. what your hand knows. <laughs> okay, I have to just invite you guys to share the story. Um, and we had Brian on before when we were talking about discovery and internally at Family Search, which there's like a thousand employees, the discovery team of which Brian and Curtis are on are famous for their pranks, for the things that they do. And can you tell us about, a, was it a panda t-shirt or something? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Brian, do you want to tell that story? Yeah, tell us. Like he's, he's like nervous. <laughs> okay. I hope Dan's watching. <laughs> so, um, yes. Okay. The panda story. Okay. There's, there's a panda story. So we have a, we have a, a colleague that we work with named Dan call. Um, and, um, Dan is a good friend of ours. And, and, uh, one of the projects in discovery we were working on is, is, was, a, was a Chinese, um, discovery product. And, um, so he, he works a lot with the Chinese and stuff. Well, Dan, he has, he has these wingtips that he wears that are like black and white. Mm -hmm. And he came one day to work wearing, I think like a black vest and a black tie and a white shirt. And, um, and one, of the, one of the team members in Chinese uh, called him Giant Panda, you know, as a nickname. So uh, for for his birthday, we got the whole team together, everything, and, and Curtis designed a special T-shirt with a panda on the front that says "Giant Panda" in Chinese, and and he didn't know about it. And so we had all these people that got these shirts on his birthday. And then another thing you need to know about Dan is Dan does not like to wear the same shirt, and so we always have this prank of trying to wear the same shirt as Dan. And so we all got a panda shirt for him. Not, but we don't stop at the office. We always take it all the way into his home. So we always coordinate with his wife, Angie, and his kids. And we made sure that they had shirts too. So when he got in the office and saw everybody wearing the same shirt and, and offered him that shirt, when he got home. They all had it on. <laughs> that was the prank. That was the panda shirt prank. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Wow. I just love learning about the way that you guys connect and you're building Roots Tech Connect and it's fun. And there's ways that we can learn about each other and connect in, in t-shirts and birthdays. I think that's fantastic. Okay, Jen, we're getting more questions about the size. Can you tell us how many people are, are you're expecting? Um, you mentioned the number of countries that are coming but we never really talked about the number of people and, and it's growing a lot. Um, so right now we have um, over 220,000 people who have registered, who have said, I'm interested and I want to come. Um, and that number is growing a lot now that the holidays are over and everyone is uh, focusing on this. So uh, it's incredible just to think about that. It'll be interesting to see how many come that, you know, during the event, but also experience it after. So very, very excited about the numbers. It's incredible. 
so, so come bring your family, bring your friends, you know, do virtual watch part, watch parties, whatever. Um, as we're sort of wrapping up, we have a few more minutes. Do you guys want to highlight any, um, we had questions about, is there an African American track or, you know, tell us a little bit about some of the more unique tracks that people can expect to see. Gosh, there's, there's so many of, and I can't even list them all, but they're really, there's these categories and that's how, you know, if you think back to the prototype, you can go and search for a certain class or look at the different categories and there's going to be a lot of those. So yes, definitely classes focused on, you know, African heritage, but even, um, you know, they're going to get more narrow this year because we have more opportunity for that, but then very broad. So lots of categories that you'll be able to look through and, again, much more expansive than you're used to. So mm -hmm. get ready. Okay. Okay. Now, um, Brian and Curtis, this is a question for you. And then Jen, I want you to think about it too. Can you, we've talked a lot about the highlights and the things that are working. Can you tell us about maybe a struggle or a challenge that you guys have had and um, maybe, you know, how you've pivoted or what you've learned from it? Because it can't be all fun and games. <laughs> Oh, Brian's like, don't sign me up for this again, ever <laughs> again. No, I've enjoyed it. You know, what's really cool is, is you've seen um, everybody's at family search in the organization. We're in to root step. We're committed. And what's really cool about this was it wasn't just like, hey, Brian, we need you to, to help with this. But it was like, Brian, we need you to help with this. But anybody you want, you get. And that's what's been, been so cool about it. It's like, it, I could go pick the, the smartest developer that we've got at FamilySearch.org and says, I need him on this project. And um, Craig, who's the, the VP over the engineering division, he'd say, you've got him. Hmm. And he's given him to me. And, and so it's been really cool to see just, there's, there's a lot of people engaged in making this experience successful for you and it's just it's been really really fun yes there's been challenges i mean when when you you're trying to pull something like this off and and you come into it on september um, I, I think if i was working for any other place i would say you you're crazy there's no <laughs> way we're going to pull this off but but this organization you know what i knew we could do it and we're going to do it so um it's well, been really cool wow <laughs> um jen talk to us about what it's been like with your team and doing things differently um this year and maybe some some of the the opportunities for growth oh my goodness you guys we are events people which means most of us just love to be around other people so it has been so hard in this virtual world to um to meet and to do everything we need to from our own homes but um and, and it's really hard to just think we aren't planning on chairs and trying to plan all those things. That's what we normally do. And so uh, can't wait until we can be together again. But for now, it's just exciting to see this. And, you know, Brian mentioned so many people at the department and at the in the company that are coming together. I think that's been the most exciting this year is it's sort of like all hands on deck and so many people are making great things happen. Mm -hmm. So for us, a small team of just nine people, uh, there's no way we could have pulled this off. And um, so it's, it's been really kind of exciting to see that. So I can't, I can't wait to see it all come to happen. Come I'm worried I'm going to be like a nervous wreck, like running everywhere. Like I, there's nowhere to run and there's nowhere to go. <laughs> I just have to sit here and watch it. It's so weird. I think, and, and Curtis, since you have been a part of this and you've had a lot to do with building, you know, the visual part, what are you hoping people will experience? What, I mean, that's your, that's your, your profession is user experience. So what is your hope? Yeah. Um, it's always scary to me to, to launch anything. Um, mm -hmm. But to have something be live and it adds Huge. a whole another dimension. But but I really hope, my hope is that that we can pull off the same thing that you get when you're there in person. Um, one of the coolest parts to me, and, and every year it's I meet these different people at Roots Tech um, that just lighten my life, you know, and 
Um, and so I, I, I hope that people come um, and do make connections still with others around the world um, and that it helps them in their family history journey that helps them um, learn a little bit more so that they can find the people they're looking for and have, have those amazing family history experiences. That's what I think the, the whole purpose of this thing is, is to help people feel that um, and to you know, have that make their life a little better. So that's what I hope. Curtis, taking it home. Taking it home. I mean, <laughs> this is why, I mean, we are, it is, it is an honor and I'm, I'm speaking for myself, but everyone to be able to serve the customer that we serve and the opportunity to work every day in a space that facilitates connections like Curtis talked about and like Jen talked about how, vast and huge the efforts are and Brian saying you know this this didn't even exist in September and you can you got permission to get you know the best talent which is another vast um, poll and so I, I think as we wrap up <laughs> um, I would love just to hear from each of you like kind of your what you're most excited about personally and um Brian are any of your girls going to be attending do we have any events available for people younger so I know that's two I, questions you can well, answer yeah so uh, I hope they attend but you know uh, I think they will uh and um uh the other thing is Oh, I just lost what I was, what your, your question was. Yeah. Cause I, I, well, what are you most excited about? You know, I know what I'm excited about. My um, vacation after it's done. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally going on a vacation right after that. Yes. <laughs> your vacation. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, I mean, just, I'm just keeping it real. Right. No, but I, you know what you're, it, it's always exciting. It, you know, I've been in software development for, for over 25 years. And, and the one thing that's always so rewarding being in software development is creating something and then seeing it built and used. And so that's gonna be what I'm most excited about is actually seeing you know, people from all over the world, lots of them mm -hmm. connecting on a platform that we, that, that we built. Um, that is going to be so rewarding. Wow. Yes, that that is worth the extra hours, right? Um, Curtis, what about you? Is there anything you'd like to add as far as what you're most excited about? Um, so I kind of mentioned that, like the site, like the experience I hope people have, but I just wanted to add too that, like to be able to work, you, you kind of mentioned this too, but to be able to work on something that has this much meaning to me is really, really amazing. Like I've been, I've been a designer for 20 years and um, for half of my career, I was working, you know, just at different places, doing stuff for different companies that I didn't really have a connection to. Um, and it was fun. I loved my job always, but but to be able to be working here now and, and specifically on this project, to be working on something that um, actually, that I have um, a lot of happy feelings about, like it's something that makes my life better. Um, and, and I, so I just, I'm excited that it will, that it will be reaching so many more people. Like Brian said, like, it's just awesome to see that number keep climbing and climbing. Um, and so, yeah, I'm excited to see how long this reaches people too. And there's something for everybody. There is, you know, I'm going to count the number of times of mic drops after Kerr speaks. Right? Uh, but every time up. he talks, it's like mic drop. No, he's got more to say. <laughs> Let's get going. <laughs> Pick up the mic again and give it to, to Curtis to drop again. <laughs> yes, Curtis. Hey, when, um, if I, you know, get sick, I'll ask you to fill in for me. And you oh, can just like. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're really good at what you do. So I I'll stick with what I do. <laughs> Okay, Jen, thank you. And Jen, um, um, tell us what you're, you're most excited about as we wrap up and if there's any other messages you want to leave. Sure. I, you know, I am so excited really just to see this thing happen. There's something special about Roots Tech and it took me a few years to kind of start figuring it out, but I really, really, truly believe 
that one of the things that makes it so special is that there are literally hundreds of people there ready to help you who love you already Mm -hmm. before you even come. And we spend a lot of time making sure that everybody on that side is there willing to help. Um, We do trainings, you know, to help people understand, to be kind and loving. And in this new virtual world, we're even doing more trainings on that. Okay. How do you do it in chat? Um, And so I just, there's something so special about Roots Tech. And I really do believe it's because of the ask us anything mentality that we're there ready to help. And just at every turn, it doesn't matter what your question is. We'll help you with it however we can. So just excited. My favorite part is after the event is to hear all those amazing stories of connections and how people helped and went above and beyond more than you could ever even imagine. We could have like a whole, you know, 20 shows just on those stories. So I love that. I can't wait. Um, Gosh, any last minute messages? You you mentioned something for young people. Yes. We hope you will all see and notice that there are young people, um, teenagers and young adults who will be gathering specifically for kind of a challenge that we have created just for them. Um, so there's, there's going to be something for everybody, my friends. Well, thank you so much for participating and thank you for the questions that people have asked. And I think that I, for one, am just more excited than ever to participate with people from all over over the world and learning about and connecting with each other and our families. And Brian and Curtis, keep going. Jen, you know, like your team's doing an amazing job and everyone, we cannot wait to hang out with you um, the last weekend or it's the 25th through 27th of February. And look for us.